Hey guys, it's me, Shani, and today we are going to be doing a huge girly haul. I am so excited. I have things I got for Christmas, things I bought myself, vintage things that I'm super excited about. So if you're interested, then keep on watching. Before we get started, I wanted to sh just show what I'm wearing today. I'm wearing the Melt Mirte palette, the minty colors in this palette, and then the Joe Lip Filler Lip Liner from Thrive Cosmetics with the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm in Confetti. I like this because it has a little bit of a blue shimmer to it, so I thought it would be pretty for this look. So before I get started, just want to say I'm so thankful for all of the sweet gifts that I got from my amazing family and friends. I'm so thankful for the time I spent with them during the holiday season and just they're amazing and I'm not showing every single thing there's some cards and money and stuff that I got so you know who you are thank you so much for everything and I just wanted to compile some things I got recently and show you guys so let's just get right into it I'm not trying to brag in any way I just think it's kind of fun to see what other people got for Christmas um, but it's not just that it's stuff I have purchased myself as well that I'm just excited about. Starting with my friend Lily, she got me some really sweet gifts. First, I want to show you this beautiful wine glass. It is a Barbie wine glass. I don't know if you can see, but it says Barbie right there and it is kind of big and such a pretty pink color. So I have already used this. I think it's so cute. And then she also got me this really nice water bottle or you could, I guess, put anything in there. I love the gradient of light to dark pink here. So how cute. She also got me this gorgeous headband and I love pearls and gems. So I feel like this would be really cute for like wearing just a simple black sweater with this or wearing this while I get ready to do my makeup. My mom and dad got me some things. They got this little crumb shop and Hello Kitty marshmallow fluff lip balm. I have a few of these macaroon lip balms, but I thought that was so fun. My mom also got me this gold makeup bag. I think she got this from Marshalls, and she just thought it looked vintage style kind of like she thought it reminded her of a vintage bag or something so I thought that was really cute I'm going to say cute a million times in this video warning <laughs> uh, she got this awesome little gold tier three tier tray so it's actually mirrored on each level and it's just nice I feel like I could put skincare products makeup products uh, display things because it has the mirrored bottom and this was also from Marshalls, I believe. I got a really sweet Secret Santa gift. I got a gift card and chocolates and also these amazing fuzzy socks from my Secret Santa at work. And it says Holiday Baking Crew and it has these cute little gingerbread pink socks. Come on, <laughs> I love it. My parents also got me this adorable little box. This. I don't think it was even a gift really, it was just a box, but I absolutely love it. I thought it was so cute. And inside of it was this little decoration. It is a little mug that somebody made this frosting part of it. Like it's fake, but so cute. And I think this will look so cute in the girly bathroom where I have some macaroon themed stuff. But it's just the cutest little baby pink mug and it's such a cute decor piece. I'm like, what? Where did she find this? I love it. Something I bought myself is this swan hair clip I found at a boutique. Come on, it is so cute. I don't know, I just thought it was so unique. I'm trying to show it in my hair. I don't know if you can see, but it is so cute obsessed sticking with what my parents got me they got me my one of my favorite hair products the paul mitchell super skinny relaxing balm my mom picked out this gorgeous marshall's sweater it is pink with little gems on it i think this will be cute for valentine's day time or just in general all the time i will be wearing this i love it 
my parents got me these little brush cleansing wipes oh and my parents got me these super cute pajamas look at how cute they are pink and gray and so soft the material is so so soft and here are the matching pants and i don't really have matching pajama sets or i don't have too many so this is perfect my aunt Nettie got first off this really gorgeous box for christmas for me and inside i'm definitely gonna keep that box but inside was i told her i wanted a cute puzzle that was on my list and she got me a puzzle of me and other pictures of me and my family and friends and stuff so i thought that was such a cute idea so i have this fun puzzle and she also got me this adorable audrey hepburn fanny pack she loves wearing fanny packs when she goes hiking and she knows that i've been hiking a lot you know once the weather is nice so this is amazing <laughs> we love audrey hepburn so an audrey hepburn fanny pack is just amazing my brother and his fiance got me some super sweet gifts as well first they got me this mandala light and they got it because they thought i would like to use it in the bath because i love taking baths and they were so right i've already used it it is so cool like here's a picture of kind of what it does here it is right here but it was such a thoughtful gift and i've already used it in the bath and it just makes the whole room light up really pretty but still kind of calming and relaxing so this was the perfect gift i thought that was awesome they also got me this super cute sweater from francesca's i think and it's white and blue and then the sleeves are this cheetah print it's kind of different and funky like how cool Then they got me some Vera Bradley purple slippers, which are so, so soft and comfy. And then they got a Vera Bradley little glasses case, which is perfect because I don't really have cute glasses cases and I wear glasses a lot. So this is cool. Some things I picked up myself recently, I went to Michael's and if you like macaron themed macaroon macaron <laughs> themed products you definitely should head over to michael's because they have i don't know if it's a valentine's day collection or what but they have a lot of cute things so i got this little sign for my girly bathroom that says love and macarons are all you need and it's so cute i have like a paris macaron themed uh girly bathroom and so this will be perfect and i also got this sign that has rosé and then some macaron love it and lastly from michael's i found two pillows as well come on they are adorable and this one's kind of like a mint maybe mint slash sage green color and this one's pink i don't know where i want to put them because I don't know if they really fit in this room but i do really like them so i'm glad i picked them up then while we were traveling to new york for the holidays we stopped in virginia and it was so cool we stopped in this really cute town and there was a couple antique stores that we ended up going to because i love antiquing and i found this gorgeous gorgeous vintage bowl so it is peach colored like a peachy pink on the inside and then on the outside it's this gorgeous like oyster shell pattern it's gorgeous and so it's actually from the 1940s and it is just so nice i thought it was in pretty good condition if you look closely there's a little bit of you know little dings here and there but so cute i really am so glad i picked this up and i believe i got this for 25 dollars which i thought was a pretty good deal because it's just so cool and i just love vintage stuff like this at the same virginia uh antique store i also found this gorgeous du jour kiss little print and it is an ad from 1920 i don't know if you can see the details but 
It is amazing. My favorite vintage advertisement is Du Jour Kiss from the 20s and this one has such cool details in it and I just couldn't believe it when I saw this because I collect Du Jour Kiss advertisements so I had to pick this one up as well and it was already framed for $14. My amazing friend Meredith gave me this gorgeous little lipstick holder for Christmas and look at how cute it's like this rose gold and there's actual roses in the design with gems and you can tell it's just a very nice vintage lipstick holder and it has five little holes there. I just thought this was so pretty and I already put lipsticks in it and I can't find this exact one anywhere online. I think it was probably from the 50s. That's going to be my guess, but I'm so, so excited to have this now and display lipsticks with it. Next, I'm going to show you what my friend Nikki gave me. She made some thoughtful gifts as well. She gave me these gorgeous little stickers. They're vintage themed stickers. I love stickers and I love vintage, so this was so cute. I love the little teacup ones. She then gave me a Barbie, which is so exciting. Little backstory, Nikki and I used to play with Barbies, so it's just coming full circle now that she's gifting me a Barbie and we're older. <laughs> but this is the Rose Barbie. And I don't know if you can see, but she is stunning. I love her hair. I love the pearl detailing and then the little roses on her sleeve, the sage green little part of her dress. And then this, oh, I don't know. Her dress is just so, so pretty. And I absolutely love this rose Barbie. And so another reason she gifted me this, she thought, of course, I'd like it. I love roses. I love Barbies. You know, I don't really have any <laughs> really now, but I loved Barbies in the past. But she also got me this because it, it came out the year that I was born, which is 1999. So, so cool that this came out the year I was born and that was like an added touch to the gift. Amazing. I just think it's so stunning and I love looking at her and the pearl details, the roses. I just can't. So here's my little Barbie. And then Nikki also got me a vintage compact, which is so gorgeous. It is this silver color, and it has the enamel on it. Look at how pretty. Oh my gosh, it's stunning. I don't know if you can really see, but the details are amazing. And I think it used to be a dance compact, and there was a chain that went off of here. And I think it is, I don't know, this might be from the 20s. It looks really old on the inside. It has a uh, powder sifter that you can adjust here so that, you know, the little holes move. And then look at this teeny, teeny, tiny little puff. Oh my gosh. How cute. This is amazing. I could not believe when I opened this. I was like, how did you find such a cool compact? All these gifts are just so sweet and it's really small, but it's so, so cute. Like I love how dainty and cute it is. Oh, I love it. And then Nikki and I also did a thrifting challenge. So this was not really Christmas related, just in general, we did a thrifting challenge where there was different categories and we had to pick out things for each other in those categories. I'm not going to show you everything that we did in that thrifting challenge, but let me show you a couple things. So for the clothing category, she actually got me this gorgeous dress that was originally from Francesca's. It had the tags on it and everything, and it's just this gorgeous pink lace dress. And she really knows my style because she picked this for me at the thrift store. And it like buttons in the back but I absolutely love it so she did amazing with the thrifting challenge and then for the home decor uh, section of the challenge she got me this cute little teacup tea kettle thing and it is princess house brand and it's the vintage garden design so it just comes 
unattached like this and it's so cute so I thought that was really thoughtful as well because I love teacups I love vintage stuff I couldn't find what year this is from but I think it's vintage and it's really pretty then while in New York me and Randy went to a couple antique stores and he ended up buying me a couple things this is a gorgeous vintage coat so cute it's gray with little buttons here and it kind of is like a peplum it kind of coat goes out a little bit towards the bottom and I don't know what year this is from because the owner of the antique store told us that this is a handmade coat so someone made it and it fit me perfectly so I had to get it I think it was only $30 and I love it Randy and I didn't exchange gifts this year even though he did get me this and one other thing uh, because we recently got a new car and so we decided no gifts this year so that's really exciting um, and then one other thing I found at that antique store I found this Guerlain Paris little Shalimar mini perfume bottle I've been looking for this perfume bottle and a lot of times it's really expensive at least the bigger sizes but I found this mini size I think it was only $12 and I just think the design of this perfume bottle is so gorgeous, so I'm so excited to add this one to my collection. Lastly, I have two exciting things I purchased myself while in New York at an antique store. Randy's mom and I went to a couple antique stores together, and I found two things I'm really excited about. I found this vintage hat. It is so cute. Okay, so it's a pillbox pink hat, I think probably from the 50s or 60s and it has a little mesh here but what sold me is the two bows on the back I was like come on that's adorable and it even has a union made label which makes me think it really is definitely vintage um, but let's try it on a little big <laughs> I like it I like it but I could not resist with the little bows and then it also I realized it matches my vintage hat stand like perfect with the little bows on the back so cute last but not least I found myself some mother of pearl opera glasses this may sound like a silly thing to want but I've been looking at these on Etsy for a while because I don't know something about going to the opera and using your little decorative opera glasses just seems so cool to me and so I always look at these and they're always like $200 or something but I found these and they also are from Paris if you see there I don't know if you see it, it says Paris so they were made in Paris and they are mother of pearl with like gold detailing I mean I love mother of pearl I have a compact that's mother of pearl so this is just stunning I'm so excited and I found this for $20 I was so excited and just because I've seen seen them for a lot more and so I was so pumped to find this and I think they are from the 1890s which makes it my oldest item that I own so these were such a score I was just so excited to get my hands on these I love it. Here we are in the girly bathroom. I wanted to show you some of the items and where I put them. On this side here, this is my little three-tier tray. And I have some vintage compact. But this side is where it kind of changed. So I added in the love and macarons are all you need sign. And then the three-tier tray over here and the little mug and then the swan clip right next to this swan vintage perfume bottle i have and so this is how it looks over here here's my bookshelf i just wanted to show you quickly where i put some of those items so my little lipstick holder i put right here i thought the turquoise 
with the coppery rose gold color looked really cute together. Then on this shelf, I put my new compact right there. I don't have many silver compacts, so I don't know if it goes with the gold, but I just had to display it. And then lastly on this shelf, I found this super cute case with a bow on it from TJ Maxx and I thought it was so so cute and it has pink on the bottom. I just thought that my mother of pearl opera glasses would be perfect in this case and I don't know just to like protect them as well because they're my oldest item and I wanted it close to my mother of pearl compact in the corner there because they match really well if you can see and then over here I put that little Guerlain perfume I think that was everything I hope you enjoyed this fun little girly haul and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye.